Welcome, let's understand the various types of factor analysis. In the last classes, we have seen what is factor analysis. We have talked about the differences between the principal component analysis and factor analysis. Today, we would be focusing on two types of factor analysis, which are confirmatory and exploratory in nature. So this exploratory factor analysis is often confused with principal component analysis. So just take a note that be very careful what is a significant difference between the confirmation and the exploratory factor analysis. When I say exploratory factor analysis, I am in a mood to explore. So when you have a new discovery, a new invention going on, which do not have a support from a prior theory, then we can say that there is exploratory factor analysis. So we do not have any predefined structure in mind and we are open to as many new factors as possible. So we are in an exploratory mood as the name suggests and therefore you have the exploratory factor analysis. On the other hand, we have a confirmatory factor analysis. Confirmatory factor analysis is usually done when the sample size is very large and you are trying to apply inferential statistics. So what you do is you have some predefined factors. These predefined factors are there set. And what we are trying to do is we are trying to redefine those or we are trying to understand those, re-edit those existing factors that are there. And this is what is known as a confirmatory factor analysis. This confirmatory factor analysis is of two types. The first type is a traditional approach. The second type is equation modeling. So when I say traditional approach, we are trying to emphasize that you have the principal factor analysis that has much more weightage as compared to the common factor analysis and it has much to do with factor loading. Factor loading is something that we have already discussed in the last class, but just a quick recap to understand this concept better. So what we have is we are trying to form a relationship between the various variables and the factors. So in the last class, we talked about two factors, the individual socioeconomic status and the neighborhood socioeconomic status. We had the variables, let's say income, education, public parks and uh, let's say the violence rate or the crime rate. Now, for the factor one, which is the individual socioeconomic status, my values on income and education would be much higher in contrast to my factor two values. However, on the other hand, for public parks and violence or crime rate, I would have a higher factor value, uh, factor loading for the factor 2, that's the neighborhood socioeconomic status in contrast to the factor 1. So that's how we understand the loading of the factor, how the variables basically affect the factor or a relationship between the variable and the factor and that's something that we try to understand under a traditional approach. On the other hand, we have another interesting approach and this is known as structural equation modeling. So when I say structural equation modeling, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to understand the same thing with the means of equations. So let's say I have two factors. I'm trying to understand the factor loading of the two factors along with the error variance and the unique variance. And this together explains me the structural equation modeling. However, this is in the form of equations that you solve. On the other hand, you also have path analysis. Under path analysis, what we are trying to do is we are simply trying to find the relationship that exists. So understanding the relation is what is path analysis, working around the equations, mainly the factor loading and the factors along with the error variance and the unique variance that it has, which is unexplained variance, we can say, is what is a structural equation modeling. So confirmatory factor analysis divided into two headings, the traditional and the structural equation modeling. And with this, we cover the various types of factor analysis. In the further lectures, we'll be talking about the factor rotation as well. So stay tuned. Have a very great day ahead.